All right, good morning. Welcome back. Appreciate your uh, joining me today and watching the channel. Um, hope everybody's having a good day. So I did notice that um, on my last video of Easy Money, um, there were a couple things that could be questionable. One is uh, I did complete an objective during that time. I only played for about an hour, but I did get $3,500. So I wanted to revisit it and just verify the... Uh, premise that you can make easy money hunting kudu i'm going to use uh, i didn't use any callers last time um and i'm going to use uh callers i'm going to use a vehicle i'm going to jump around the map and let's see how much we can get hunting kudu and i'll take advantage of opportunities if i see something else i'll certainly you know do that because we're out hunting and we're out to make money that's the objective right so um so let's head over in uh, which direction do we want to go? Let's head out this way. So put a marker there. And that is where? Way. And I'm a crappy driver. Still. <laughs> Last time I got the vehicle stuck. But we'll head out down this road. And then what do we have over here? That is... Wildebeest, and there's a two-star mature. He's 250 yards away. Blue Wildebeest, you can get some decent uh, cash for. So we will go ahead and get that guy. Let's see. So that is a two-star mature. A one-star mature. We'll get him. What is he? One-star mature. He's closer. 184. Tried to take a shot at another one, but wasn't quick enough. Yep. Oh. All right. We'll follow you. Obviously, it wasn't a good shot. Okay. So what do we have here? We have left long, right long. That wasn't a bad shot. And he is a one-star mature. He's only $392. Uh, but we'll go ahead and uh, pick him up. Uh, we started with $708.50 at uh, about 10 after 7 in the morning. So we got a... Uh, a wildebeest. Blue wildebeest. I'll just make a note. Blue wildebeest. What was it? $392? Something like that. See some stuff out to the left there. See what those guys are. Radio Kudu. Okay. There's a mature... 249 yards away and come in this direction. Let's wait till he gets a little bit closer, gives me a good view here. Ah, over in front of me. And we got a bush in front of me. And you're going to run in front of me. And you're going to run in front of me. And I'm going to have another bush in front of me. And he went down. And 
and was it a hard shot? It was. Yeah, cool. And so, yeah, one star mature at uh, $619 for Greater Kudu. And we'll go ahead and sell him. And they... What are those? No, see, so they didn't go that far, looks like. Yeah, unless that's something else. That might be something else over there. Get a little closer. There we go. So we'll head out here. How far were they? 295. The mature female. Another mature female. I'm okay with the mature female. Not sure what what we'll get dollar wise for a mature female, but let's see if we can get around this bush and get a better look at these guys. Young male. Another young male. So let's take one of the uh, mature females here. Where's the others? There we go. Might have a better uh, view on this one right here. Okay. Yeah. Do I have a shot at another one? No. Should have marked it. Probably going to struggle trying to find her. So, definitely should have marked my shot. Let that be a lesson to me. Mark your shots. Probably not. Oh, <laughs> right over there. What an idiot. I didn't go to the right spot, but no problem. Lost a little bit of time there, but that's okay. So, that wasn't a bad shot. Yeah, and so we get a little bit less for the females, 459. But um, that's all right. So we'll go ahead and sell her. I think that was a different group of uh, Great Okudu than the one I had shot at earlier. It seemed like it was a smaller, a little bit smaller group. We'll drive along, keeping our eyes peeled here. See what we see. There we go, something out there. That could be wildebeest. Thinking it's blue wildebeest. There we go, they're coming in. There's a two star mature leading the way. Is that? No. Second one. There's a two star mature at 245 yards. What else we have? Adult. All right. So I want to try to get this two-star mature, right? Ah, oh, three-star mature. Two-star mature. Let's go for the three-star. See if we get any better cash with him. But I'll take any one of those males over there. I think the three-star was this one. Come on, get past the... Oh, uh, really? They're all going to bunch up. <laughs> Try and get a few. He's about to go down. Right there. Okay. Mm. Left lung shot. 579 for him. He was what? Uh, oh, he was the two star. All right, we'll go ahead and sell him. And it looked like they stopped not too far away. So it looks like he has some decent cash for the Blue Wildebeest also. So it looks like this might turn into a Blue Wildebeest hunt. 
So they didn't go that far. You can get some decent cash for them. I don't think, actually, I think this is a different group because I'm not seeing the... Uh, oh no, there they are. So the three star matures behind, right there. 290 yards. Wildebeest. Yeah, this is definitely turning into a blue wildebeest hunt, but uh, they're, they're good money also. So I'm going to add that the greater kudu and the blue wildebeest, using this strategy, can make you some money fairly quickly. What is this guy? Honey badger. He doesn't give a shit. Honey badger doesn't care. Sure. Sure. A one star mature. I can shoot him in the ass. He's 194 yards. Blue wildebeest. They can be attracted with a rattling bag. So let's see if we can bring him in closer. I think I got his attention. He's coming. Oh, really? What the heck? All right, well, let's go continue to track the one I shot, but let's see. Why not? Oh, he fell in this bush. That's why I couldn't see him. I don't know what I shot up there, but that wasn't a wasn't too bad of a shot. Five hundred ninety-one dollars for a three-star. Sell him. Let's see what we got up at the top of the hill here. So between the uh, blue wildebeest and the greater kudu, we're averaging about 600 bucks a an animal, which isn't bad in this game. And we're able to get many. Uh, we're able to get a lot of uh, a lot of animals in a row with this method here. So, all right, yeah, another one. And they are still out there. Oh, there he is. Maybe we can get a. Uh, Another one out of this herd? We'll see. I don't know what I what I hit there. I know if I didn't hit the one star mature that there's at least another one star mature in there that we could take out. Yeah, behind the bush. Alright. Alright, do you want to hide behind the bush? I can still get you. I think. I don't care if it's a headshot. So what were you? Uh, 526. Mature female. Okay, sell you. And you were the, um, wasted, but it was the one star mature. Okay. Head back to the vehicle. So we're, uh, what, a uh, half hour in at this point. In uh, real time, not game time, half hour in. And uh, we've gotten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven animals. But uh, only two of them were greater kudu. And I'm obviously not maximizing my time because I should be taking my vehicle more frequently. Actually, you know what? Let's head to a different part of the map. Let's, let's head somewhere else. Let's go... 
Um, parking lot up here. I can fast travel and call the vehicle. And there's greater QD in this area. Yeah, let's do that. And I didn't think about maximizing time of day. I should probably think about that in this mix, but I just figured we'd start in the morning at about 7 o'clock. Something out here. Let's see what we got. The other side of the water there. Lions. Bunch of them. Oh, something out here. I think that's a warthog out that direction. But let's see if we can see what's over here. Okay, buffalo maybe. These are more blue wildebeest. That's so funny. Alright. One star mature, 283 yards away. I don't think I hit that second one. I don't know. Not sure how I did there. Here he is. Long shot, 560. And this one is a one star mature. What is this place here? New discovery? I don't know if I knew about this place. We'll take a minute to explore. Ingot Village. Can I fast travel here? Springbok. See. Nope, not a fast travel location. Let's go to a different part. And the parking lot's right there. load up and let's see let's go in uh, this direction I don't know if I like this area here because you can't really see all that far I like the plains areas better where you can see for quite a distance may want to move to another area but the greater kudu is making a liar out of me as far as seeing them all over the map. I usually do. Oh, come on. Was there a little stone there? Well, here's where I get stuck on the rocks. Yep. There we go. that over there. Cape Buffalo. Alright, I'll take out a Cape Buffalo. Why not? I have my vehicle. I'm going for a headshot on this guy. Nah. Art. Okay. 
Anybody chasing me? So, obviously got a little distracted here from the kudu hunt, but that's okay. We're collecting up some money. And, uh, definitely doing some hunting. Oh, here we are. Yeah, alright. Oops. So this is not a great area. Let's go over here. here. Pick a moon racing course. Pull our vehicle in. Okay, Buffalo, they look old. There's something else over there. See if we can figure out what that is. More Cape Buffalo. So there's something down, back down by the parking area here. Apparently showed up after we left. Do that. Okay. Are there are others. I don't know what that is. Okay. So let's go collect him. And we had a little bit of distraction. Spooked some Gemsbach. Whoa, he got up. Such a close range shot. You thought I would have... It was. I know it was a lousy shot, but... Sorry, guy. Mark this. Spotted hyena. That's what was running off before. And 597. Or a mature, two-star mature male. Okay. So that's exactly an hour. Yep. Exactly an hour. So we are at 75,141. We got one, two, three greater kudus, and one, two, three, four, five, six blue wildebeests. Um, what is that? $4,300? I don't know. You want to, let's do it exact. Grab my calculator here. $4,291. And we had three of the greater kudus, and they were 597 plus 459 plus 619. So we averaged 558 with the greater kudus. Generally, I do over 600. If my memory serves me correctly, it's generally over 600 each one. And then the blue wildebeest was 3231 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 538 average for the, uh, for the Wildebeest. So Wildebeest or Kudu, either one is going to get you uh, decent money. And that was $4,200 in an hour. Um, and I got distracted a bit with the Cape Buffalo and that probably could have got another one in there if I was a little bit more focused. So um, we'll end this one. Now. Oh, wait, I never claimed them. 75,738. Ah, I was wrong. 75,738. Eight. I hadn't, I hadn't uh, claimed that one yet when I did all that math. So, um, so let's do that again. So it's seventy-five, seven thirty-eight minus seventy-eight fifty, forty-eight eighty-eight. 
So just about five grand in an hour. So anyway, I think that we can uh, say, yeah, it makes some easy money. If you, uh, and, and even maybe more than the $5,000, if you're a little bit more diligent and um, take into account the uh, time and try to maximize your, you know, maximize your opportunities with time and uh, zones plan it out ahead of time so um, yeah so I think that to me in this game when a lot of animals average about th you know you know the lower end of 200 or 300 350 sometimes um, you know if you can get 600 you know average close to 600 per animal and get what was that nine animals um, you can do pretty well so let's sit by the campfire Take a little break, and we'll call it here. Thanks for watching. What did I spook over there? More of those Cape Buffalo. We should do an episode on trying to earn money with Cape Buffalo. Because I think you can... Uh, they're pretty heavy, and you probably get... Uh, a decent amount of money for them i just can't recall and um a little bit more a dangerous hunt probably can't get as many in so i'm, I'm thinking you get your your better bang for the buck is probably the greater kudu and we'll throw the blue wildebeest in there as well they seem to be prevalent on the map seem to be a fairly easy hunt and uh good bang for the buck so anyway thanks for watching and uh, you guys take care, and we'll see you in the next one. Um, I'm not going to have a whole lot of time to post videos over the holidays. Um, so if I don't get an opportunity, happy holidays, everyone. Merry Christmas. Enjoy. And uh, hopefully we'll see you more frequently. Thanks.